Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here, the best third size four tier Pokemon Go battler in the world. And today we're coming at you with a team that I wanted to try Walrin today uh, because I everyone's using it, so I wanted to try it out just to see how it works. And I think I'm either ahead of the trend or behind the trend because everyone was using Walrin the first few days, so I was using counter Walrin teams, which is why I went up there. And now everyone's moved on to the counter Walrin teams they're running now. So when I used this today. I saw like a ton of fighters, a ton of electric Pokemon to deal with that, right? So, uh, not, gr I, I did okay with the team. I did go up because what actually hit, well, I went down first with, I tried Dendony, uh, because I was like, you know what? Wall Ranger right there, as you, it'll beat as you, plus all these darks are now coming out, like scrafting that. So you can deal with that with the, with the, uh, charm. That's awesome. But then it's like Stunfisk, Bastidon, Nidic Queen. Uh, Trevenant. There's just way too many, so I lost with that. I'm like, there's, it, it's, not, it's a nice and a special cup, but it's not good for for open. So I was like, okay, let's do Walrein, and then I'm like, let's go with my boy or girl. <laughs> I don't know what Nine Tails is either, or I guess let's go with uh, Nine Tails because I've used it multiple times before. I'm running Psy Shock on this. There isn't an option to run the Boom with Overheat because the Boom does does Boom, uh, but I did Psy Shock just for more coverage. And then I'm like, all right. Um, fighters are still gonna be a problem with this, so I went Trevenant. You're obviously still a bit weak to like a Scrafty that can like ramp up and throw foul plays there, but you can make do with it. So I went up with the team, but like it was minimal gain with what was already losses. So I'm still just below 2750. But let's take a look at the team. Uh, but basically, how the team works is like nine tails on lead. Uh, I try to stay in as long as I can, but like some matchups are tough. Uh, Walrein is probably my safe swap. Trevenant can also be a safe swap. Like both have losing matchups, but both have good matchups. Um, obviously, Walrein can be weak to the fighters. Trevenant, for the most part, unless it's a Scrafty, can deal with those. Nightail's overall coverage. So let's take a look at the team and see how it works. So, the, so as you can see, I was down to 2708 there, so I had already lost. Look at that, right off the bat, shadow for shadow, and they bail into Azu. So I'm going to hit him with Trevenant as a nice response. The problem is, like in this matchup, you're, it's still a winning matchup. But these ice beams do add up pretty quickly, right? So now I'm within like realistically like bubble range if they want to commit mm, probably like one or two shields. So I get the first one off. I'm going to get the second one off. I don't even know if this is going to take it out. They shield, so that's good. They are going to get another ice. Yeah, and they just commit to the full farm now. Realize they're not going to get it. Uh... I maybe shield and try. Yeah, I'm gonna shield and try and take switch anyways. I don't know if that's a great play, but like, I just wanted to keep my nine tails on it. And good thing I did because they have a swampered in the back, so double water. Uh, so coming here, I expect the. I expect the earthquake, but I was like, even if it's an earthquake, I can probably tank it. So I tank it, and I'm like, oh, that put me really low. So I just, let's do some chip damage. Let's ho hope that they're going to like shield this up because they're like, I, they got to move up. So I expected that. And I just need to get to the earthquake and they come in with the wall rain. And this is what I like about this Pokemon, Nice Hails. It's that these fire spins and weather balls are so quick charging. This is half ice. So these moves are going to get up. I was like, earthquake is the only thing that could take me out. And if they, so and they do throw earthquake. Uh, and I'm like, now I could probably just farm down the whole way, hit them with the side shock, and then the side shocks can put them low enough that I think I can hit them with the weather ball now. Yeah, before they get the move up to take them out. So that's why I like the coverage. Like an overheat there against Swampert wouldn't do anything. Well, it wouldn't do. It would do something, but like it'd be resistive. So it's nice to just have a neutral move that you can throw there. Nine tails against Stabli. Uh so is this the one where they stay in? Because I played this matchup full out today. Yeah, so this is the one where they stay in. And you just significantly outpace in the two shield. So uh, the claws are adding up. My fire spins are adding up. These weather balls charge pretty quick. And I outpace to the move. So I go one more, expecting that I can still outpace here. They're going to shield because they have a ton of energy. And then I'm like, they're clawing me pretty low, but they're pretty, they, they're they going to have energy if I don't shield here. So I'd rather just shield, take the switch here with the two shield, 
and then have maybe alignment in the back because if you're running this you're weak to dark so you may have some sort of fighter or azu right uh, i was hoping to get a side shock off i do not and the problem is that now puts me in double ice beam range so what i need to try and do here is chip it as much as i can with the bullet uh seed bomb and then i may try and catch an ice beam on my wall ring so but they give up switch and it's a skarmory so that's huge because i still have a bit of energy left on the trevenant obviously one sky attack is not gonna take me out they can't go brave bird just yet because then i could take him out with the ethical sphere so they have to only throw uh sky attack here so i'm i'm at two moves so i'm gonna throw the first one and i think this is where we now just get into a uh fast move off because i think both of us realize our win condition is getting some energy on our other pokemon right so i'm not throwing the move because i want to get one more claw in on trevenant here because i need to get to the sea bomb before they get to a move and i think they were trying to also get me down to get a move off on my trevenant so i realized that able to take that out claw out for the win so that's just kind of recognition of like win condition there that's just what you get for playing since season one deox a lot of deoxes today a lot in the last two days and deox is chair but again most are running i think i shield anyways because thunder because these counters and thunderbolts will add up quickly but almost all are running um thunderbolt psycho boost very very few are running rock slide right now Yep, if this was shady, put it in the montage. But you know what? That's okay. I still stick by what I just said. Most are running Thunderbolt Psycho Cut because, or Psycho Boost because uh, Thunderbolts are good for your wall range and your Azus and your Scar Moves you're seeing a lot of. And Psycho Boost is just like your stab move to take out everything else. Um, so I shield up the first one here, thinking that I can grab a shield back. And if they get greedy, maybe two shields if they aren't counting properly. And I do grab a either second shield or just put them super low either is fine with me so i grab both shields they are going to be loaded with energy here uh that's fine trevenant's done its job and that's why i like about trevenant even in a bad matchup here you can still just spam those seed bombs so i come in here and they do come in with their deox and i know they have rock slide because they've already thrown it once so i've got to shield this up and they just go straight for the psycho boost um so i'm like okay i'll just go for the full farm down here have a bunch of energy coming out. We're both trying shields. No shields. They are going to come back in with a Vigoroth. So I am weak on the back end to this. Um, so I want to try and get one more move off here. And then try and come and Powder Snow down with the Wall Rain. Thinking that I can take two moves here. I don't know if I can take two moves between the counters and Body Slams. And they come in with the Obstagoon. Right, this is the triple. This is a triple counter team. I remember now because I was like, "Oh yeah, this is a triple counter team." Vigoroth, Obstagoon, Deox, all kind of hunting for Walrein, and they found it. And I am able to take this out, and I'm able to get this within one fire spin, take it out for the win. So despite a tough lead and having uh, Walrein weak to counter, I beat the triple counter team. So that's nice. Nidoqueen, Nidoqueen is um, not tricky, but it adds up like these, it's a po it's a shadow. So these poison fangs are adding up quickly. I'm gonna build up to the Psy Shock to bait it. Cause then if they shield, I can probably get one more move here and put it pretty low. So just going double weather balls there is always the play. And it does put it super low. Um, I'm gonna come in with Trev expecting because they can't throw earth power right so they can only throw the poison jab here but again that poison jab did way more than i expected and out comes the wall rain i was like okay I, I was a little hesitant there i threw the c-bomb knowing that it's going to take it pretty low but looking back on this considering it only did that much um it's not quite an icicle spear range i do shield this up and it's a bait so i know i'm gonna get hit with the earthquake next I'm not at the earthquake yet, but I throw here thinking like maybe even though it's resisted, it may take it out, but not even close. So I have to go back to back here. This one will take it out 
if they let this go. Uh, but they don't let they so they do let it go and let it go down and out comes the Sableye. Um, and as I showed in my video the other day, Sableye is tricky because Sableye can beat you, but not when they just give up two things of energy there. Uh, they still may beat me. I don't want to talk too much there because they did get um, Claws and Foul Play will take me out. So I get one move off there. That's not enough to take him out. I'm almost at the third. This one will grab a shield and then I need to try and take it out and I catch here thinking that they're going to have to dump energy on me before uh, they claw me down. It's not going to get to the C bomb. So dumping their energy probably means that I will now just take this here with a win. So the teams, I, I like the team. Would I use this team right now as the triple counter user team showed you? No, I probably wouldn't use this right this second because everyone is, and I'm, so this is, I can already tell this is a loss because Umbreon on the lead is extremely tough. So I already showed it the other day, Umbreon beats uh, Walrein straight up. And then Trevenant is obviously gonna get destroyed by this. And as you can see, those weather balls are not doing much and two foul plays will take me out and they're already at the second foul play. So I need to come in here and catch on the wall ranks. They don't wanna have to shield unnecessarily. So I come in here, they hit me with the foul play, which again, does some chip damage, and now they're coming at me with a charm nine tails. So the good news is I will have good alignment here. I go for the bait, thinking that like, I don't know what I was thinking. It was a dumb play. I do get an earth, no I don't. Yeah, okay, this game's over. I don't know why I didn't go for the earthquake. I don't know why I thought they would shield. They, they know how they have no matchup against my nine tails, so this is a really dumb play. This game's over, I lost. Um, farm, yeah, okay. Anyways, as I was saying before, this team is good unless you make bonehead plates like that. But you running it right now is not an amazing option because you are seeing just too many teams that are now countering wall rain, right? And like I did three videos in the last three days about countering wall rain, and now everyone else is catching up and putting out their videos to counter wall rain and they're now being used by players to counter it. So <laughs> I probably wouldn't use it right now. I do think <clears throat> I do think that next cycle of Great League, whether you want to call it the last week of this season or next season, I do think I think Wild Rain will be in the meta, but it won't be as like on every team as it is right now. And people won't be hard countering as much as they are right now either. So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I haven't, I played one game with the team today that I want to try tomorrow. It's a very, very, very meta team. It's like a combination of like some of the meta teams from the past couple days. So I will showcase that tomorrow. And I will, yeah. So what, I'll ask it here. Um, but I'll also ask it in my Monday video because Monday is the start of Ultra League. And I will do try hard teams until I hit legend for sure. But then the question is, do you, does everyone want me to continue try hard teams? Because what I've been doing this week is in all these titles is just putting like try hard, like try hard week, essentially like all these meta teams getting ELO, get, oh, getting ELO week is what I'm calling this week. Um, getting ELO, getting ELO. And everyone seems to be enjoying these videos. Like my view counts for these videos are within like have been the highest in the past couple weeks, but it also kind of explains because of the su subscriber b boost. Um, but so let me know, hopefully I can hit legend soon. <laughs> like I'm going to do try out teams until I, I can, but, um, once I hit legend, do you want me to continue to try hard teams? So, you, cause I know a lot of people are still grinding and they would prefer to see teams that they can maybe hit legend with. So let me know if you want me to continue the try hard teams or, uh, just do something else for fun. Because there's enough spice out there. So I, I feel like people do want try hard teams. But let me know in the comments. Um, catch on the wall rain. Catch the wall rains on my Trevenant. Which is an interesting play. But I think it's because I know I have a move that I can just get to here. Um, and take it out for the win. Um, yeah, 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 I did a match there. <laughs> so... <laughs> Again, I, I do like Ninetales. Ninetales still has a play. Um, like, I didn't see a ton of Skarmory's or Galvantulas that everyone was running the other day. I saw a lot of Deox. Again, 
So I'm probably tomorrow going to be using uh, something like a Trevenant or Sableye on the lead to deal with Deox because they were everywhere. So they throw the Psycho Boost right away, which means it tells me that they are running Thunderbolt if they're throwing the Psycho Boost right away because so now they're going to bail and they bail into a Vigoroth. So I'm going to throw this here, which I don't know if it was a good idea or not because I know it's now within one Seed Bomb range. Um, and I know I can just like claw because this does nothing it can throw at me. Counters resisted, body slams resisted, bulldozers resisted. So these are all just resisted moves. I can build up to 100 energy. I'm going to have a ton of energy coming out of this matchup. So claw down, I have a ton of energy. Uh, what do they come in with? If I remember, they come in with the Deox again. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, that's an interesting. Uh, they throw right away, so this is another Psycho Cut, or Psycho Boost, and then I throw my Shadow Ball, and I remember, and they caught on a uh, Scrafty. That's just a waste of energy. The problem is, I know they can now just go for the full counter down here, which is not good, because they're going to get to the counter. Uh, they're going to just counter me down and come out loaded with energy. They could have. I think that was a mistake there. I think you just counter down and go out with energy. I know what they're doing is they're ramping up. Um, and I do have Wolverine in the back, but all that did was put them dry on energy that they're only going to get to one move here. And I'll shield it up because it could be a foul play. It's probably just power punch because you just want to get a little more damage on these counters. But I'm basically at Icicle Fear already. So get this off here. The Deox has dumped Psycho Boost twice now, so it probably doesn't have a ton of energy. Uh, but they have enough here to get another one off. But what this does is lower their attack enough that I'm now able to get to a seed bomb to take them out. So I think they needed to do a couple more counters there uh, if you're going to go Psycho Boost that early. How many? 158. So I think this is the last battle. Again, you're not seeing repeat battles here. You are seeing Deox on the lead constantly because it was the hardest counter to Wall Rain. Uh, and still has play against like Skarmory's and stuff like that that you've been seeing. So like I said, I'm going to go counter Deox on the lead tomorrow. I get the first move off here. I'm going to shield again because it could be Rock Slide. Uh, but it's a Thunderbolt. So again, this one is running Psycho Boost Thunderbolt. This will take it out. I know they're running Thunderbolt. I expect the Psycho Boost to come in next though. They let it go. Am I able to take it out? I, I would have taken it out except now they transferred that damage on the wall range. So that probably does have a cycle boost at least there. Uh, I'm going to stay in here because I think that I can survive an Icicle Sphere. And then I ended up catching it, knowing that they were going to try and throw it right before I got to my move. So I absorb all that energy. I still think they can get to an Earthquake before I can. Um, so I may shield anyways. And I do shield and it is the Earthquake, so that's good. You can build up a bit more. Throw the Earthquake to try and get this out. Um, I don't know if an Earthquake will... It's a Shadow, so maybe an Earthquake would take me out from this range. But they let it go. And there's the dead... 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 dead knee? Um, either way, why I, did, I, I had trouble with it is exactly what you're going to see here. Is I'm going to come in... This Thunderbolt will take me out. So this is why you use it, right? To, de to deal with Wall Rain. Or Discharge. Not Thunderbolt. Discharge. But as you're going to see, this is your hard answer to this, like resisted Thundershocks. We both try and catch, or I think they tried to snipe me and I tried to catch, but I caused Psycho Boost and that just lowered all my energy, which is not great. Um, they do have a move here and a shield left. So now one player off does like chip, like it's not insignificant, but now they're, I just need to go for the full claw down because they have two, they have a shield left. So able to claw for the win. So that's the team. Again, I like the team. Uh, they play each other well, like your main weaknesses for nine tails are going to be water, ground. S so you can deal with that with Trevenant. Um, Bastidon is a bit tricky, but you can just kind of work around with Trevenant and Walrein in the back there. Um, and then like Altaria would be a bit of a problem in the front, but then you have... Uh, you have your wall rain, so it, the, the team works, but again, there's too many people hunting for it right now, running counter teams. Uh, so I probably would not use this team in the immediate future, but you know what? Maybe we'll revisit this in season 11. So that's it. One more team for Great League. Um, 
tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to try Trevenant or Sableye on the front just because of all the Deoxys I saw today. And then I'll run probably like very, like I wouldn't be surprised if I run like very meta Azu, Galarian Sunfist. Met, like it's going to be, a, it's going to be a combination of a very meta team to try and to try and get some ELO to try and break expert. And then go battle day is Sunday. There's the community day Saturday and the go battle day Sunday. Um, so I almost hope I don't hit legend this weekend because I do want to showcase Monday is the ultra league starting. So I do want to showcase some teams, but I also want to showcase if I do hit legend this weekend, I do want to showcase that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that is it. So great league is coming to an end. Uh, ultra league is ultra league and ultra league premier classic. So premier classic means no Excel and no legendaries. So we will put out a bunch of teams there like I did last time. Obviously, Walrein is going to be absolutely everywhere because it's a beast with such wide coverage for the meta of the Ultra League. So I will probably sh on Monday showcase teams that worked in the past, but also I will showcase teams with Walrein and to counter Walrein because it will be everywhere in Ultra League Premier and Ultra League Open because of all the Giratinas and stuff, right? So anyways, that is it. Thank you for watching. Uh, Appreciate it if you comment on those videos. I know I always premiere these videos and we had like yesterday, I'm just rambling now, but yesterday we had 103 people at the at the ending of the video, which was awesome. Um, we do great chatting there, but then what I realized is everyone chats there and not as many people comments <laughs> and the comments are what help the algorithm. So if you can go comment on the video, I'd appreciate that. Uh, and I'll thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.